Hi there, we're going to do a uh, song called A Thousand Years by Christina Perry, I believe. And uh, <clears throat> I think this was in the Twilight movie. Anyways, the chords that are used, it's in standard tuning, you want to capo at the third fret. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a cold. And the chords that we're going to use are a G chord. Alright, you want to make a country G. So you want your second finger on the third fret on the big thick E string, first finger will be on the A string, second fret, and then third finger will be on the B string, third fret, and then pinky, okay? These are the chords, and then we have a D with an F sharp in the bass, you make a D chord, and then you just put your pinky on the third fret. And the D chord is first finger on second fret on the G string, second finger on the high E string, second fret, third finger on the D string, and then on D string, sorry, G, a B string, third fret, and then pinky. You want to just hold that pinky down, and then you're going to have an F sharp in the bass, so you might want to have your thumb play that note. Then the next one is an E minor. You're going to keep these two down like you did on the G, and then you're going to put your first finger on the second fret on the A string. A string and then second finger on the D string. And then we have a normal D. First finger on the second fret on the G string, second finger on the high E string, second fret, and third finger on the B string, third fret, and then normal C. Third finger on the A string, third fret, second finger on the D string. 2nd fret and then 1st finger on the B string 1st fret. And the other chord that we have is uh, a G5 with a D in the bass. These two on the 3rd fret, E and B respectively. And you're going to play it from the D string down. So from here down. Okay. Now this tune is in 6-8 time, so you're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Starts off with the G chord. And you're just going to play it on beats one and five, sorry, four. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then G again, one, two, three, D sus four, one, two, three, uh, that's four, five, six, and then E minor seven, one, two, three, four, five, six again, one, two, three, and then D, four, five, six, and then we have C, one, two, three, four, five, six, Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have D, G five with the D in the bass. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And then we have this little run that goes <clears throat> third fret, second fret on the high E string, and then third fret on the B string. So again, I'll play it again for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. G, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, D, sus, four, with an F sharp in the bass. Four, five, six, E minor, seven. Move this over for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, D, four, five, six, C. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. G, five, with a D in the bass. Two, three, four, five, six. Next pattern, you're going to make a C sus two. How you make that? Take your third finger or second finger and put it on. I'll use my second finger on the A string, third fret, and then third second finger on the third fret on the B string. Now the pl the pattern is this. You're going to just hold that chord down, and the basic pattern is you're going to make this easier for you. You're going to go. You're going to go. Um, same pattern all the way through, just switching chords. Let's try this again. I'm going to do it with these two fingers. So I'm going string five, string three, string five, string two. Okay, so that's the first part. Just practice that for a bit. Holding that C sus two down. Next part goes string 
five, string three, string five, string two, string five, string four, three, string five, string three. So we have again. Then back to the last section of that. These are all sixteen notes. We're going one E and a two E and a three E and a, or counting, I should say. One and two and three and four and five and six and in some ways. Now the last part is going to go string five, string two, string five, string three. So we have. And we do that again. So that's the pattern. Work on that pattern because it doesn't change much. through this, so we're going to go C sus2, one more bar of C sus2, then we're going to go a G with a B in the bass, just move your first finger over to the second fret on the A string, same pattern with the right hand. finger down on the second fret on the D string. Now here's where it changes. We're going to now play the uh, four string. All right, and that's that chord. And then it's going to go to a D with an F sharp in the bass. So what you're going to do there for the chord is you're going to move your first finger down <clears throat> on the G string and then have your thumb over top and then the strings that we're going to play for that is this. Sorry. I'll try that again, sorry, my fault. Oh, sorry, I should say the D goes to D F sharp, D to F sharp. And then it goes to a G5 for a half a bar. What you do there is you just put these two down and put your second finger on the sixth string, and so this is going to go. Try again. Okay, and we're back into the C sus two, so we just do it. We're doing the C sus two again, which is just the same thing. Sharpen the bass. And then a G. Now here's the difference. Uh, next bar, this is on the next part, we're going to go A minor and make an A minor. Put your first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger will be on the D string, second fret, and third finger will be on the G string, second fret. Pattern is like this. You're going to go five. Five three five two five three five three five two three. Okay. Same pattern. Then we do it again. And then we're gonna make an E minor chord. Nothing. So no 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 right hand. So the pattern for that will be. That's for part one. I hope that helps, and uh, hope that helps for for you guys. And uh, we'll see you on part two of that. Take care.